Hey everyone's Dev here and welcome to Stride Fates Overview. Okay, this is gonna be a long one because we have some stuff to talk about essentially. Among the VR community and even the dev set so themselves, the original game Strides would get a campaign mode along the way of the development and it was getting constantly postponed, then the game was just being updated in terms of the multiplayer with some dumb stuff and bullshit in general <laughs> and then i don't know after how many years or whatever we got an announcement that fates as a sequel <laughs> is coming because the campaign mode for the original was too outdated and they needed like a refresh of the engine and pretty much everything around the game so now while it's cool and all with the intentions and how you want to make your stuff to me personally this is fucked up <laughs> like there's no beating around the bush here. Not only you have to pay much more now for just that additional stuff, the devs were also doing some weird campaign for people that bought the game before some period on Steam. They would get it for free, but the meta users can essentially just go fuck themselves. Like, it's so much happening around it. And by rule of thumb, if there's so much mess going on already pre-everything, then it's just diminishing your experience experience at the end of the day and politics aside like this is just a lot. <laughs> so Stride Fates is a spiritual sequel of the free-running parkour game where you're gonna get pushed even more in the action with fully jumping from building to building and attacking people that are your golden ticket out of the dystopian Aeron city. Similarities are very much striking because <laughs> it was essentially meant to be in the first game. <laughs> what I can tell is that there's a lot of upgrades in terms of the physics and the graphics themselves. Very intense dismember almost like you have a superpowers and the switching between the landing on the ground and just combat seems very much smooth more detail going on in the environments and the buildings themselves I'm not quite sure why this particular trailer unveils a gameplay that is a hybrid of stride and red flowers which was like a concept game that Joey unveiled not too long ago seeing the footage and just what's happening I'm not quite sure what's the story about here. It still comes across as a glorified arcade arena, so I don't really know in what direction this project will take. I do enjoy what's happening overall, but as a separate title, it should have been something completely different from what we had in the original, which unfortunately will become obsolete, being a dead weight and a worthless investment at the end of the day. As always, we'll see how it's gonna go. I just don't care about the devs' decisions and and they make things worse for themselves, pretty much. The focus is the game and let's keep it at that. <laughs> let's go back to Stride. Sir, I you treated differently. What? No, this is an implant avatar. It usually assists the operator during missions. The operator will shortly contact you. Good luck. Thank you, sir. N Nicholas, I I'm Elizabeth. I will be assisting you on missions. Let's check your stats. Take a few steps. I can't move. Oh, sorry. The neuropilot is off. I was wondering why I heard a male voice. <laughs> First of all, subtitles and stuff. Unfortunately, there aren't any. Which kind of sucks because the voices aren't necessarily recognizable. This is looking nice. Even the bottom, which normally doesn't happen. <laughs> The model is pretty neat. It's gonna be probably that the game is gonna be great and all. It's just the starting period of it was not good. 
Working for Sky Chase isn't just about flying across rooftops and eliminating criminals. It will be up to you to find ways to get into hard-to-reach places. You can't go any further. The building is being renovated. Use the crowbar to clear the way. Give me this. Kind of reminds me of Volnab. Yeah, I like how I can grab the handle. <laughs> Jump over the obstacle. Oh, a weapon upgrade module. It will be useful for upgrading your weapons. I'll provide you with more details after the mission. I mean, she's kind of looking dead in the eyes. I trust the simplified movement, which I don't know what that means really. <laughs> Great. Keep going. Lisa, can you tell me about that piece of steel in my head? The neuro implant was developed by Vital Tech Corporation. The face of the city has changed for the better with the mass adoption of implants. Let me see the other one. And on the simplified, I would not be able to do it. Okay, well, I don't know what's gonna be the difference. <laughs> Climb up the ledges to get further. I'm so glad you're joining us. Sky Chase is short on people. Why? Many have been killed by skulls, but with your new implant, they are no longer a threat to you. Do I have a coaster? It's kind of awkward to climb with it. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be infinitely spawning, nice. What's going on? I guess I can grab just ledges, not necessarily the sides, which I mean makes sense. Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> Is this like bulletproof one or something? I mean, I, I like that I feel more free, I guess, in this version. It does not seem like a struggle anymore. Zip lines are stretched between some buildings. You can use them to get around quickly. Jump onto the zip line and slide down. The other side of stuff that just magnets you into. Heard you mastered parkour while living in the slums. Wanna show off your skills? Jump and run on the wall. Yeah, that seems cool.
Yeah. Easy to understand. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> to move quickly around the city. Just duck while running. What was that button? Or just physically? <laughs> it's like some doors won't be penetrable. I mean, this is very smooth. Your outfit has a built-in hook system. There's an airport drone in the front with the hook slot. We've installed them for our employees all over the Aeron City. Jump and hook onto the airport to fly over the obstacle. And she died. <laughs> Nick, it's been reported the traces of a case. Oh, a chaser have been found near the vital tech office. Get over there. Also use the hook to collect items. Just hook the item to pull it towards you. You can't go any further now. There's a key card above. Use the hook to get it and open the door. Thank you. Oh my god. There are bandits in the office. What should we do? Just a second. Let me clarify. First, you have to break the cyber lock by going into cyberspace. Cyberspace? What is that? You'll see. You have an S-Ranger smartphone on your wrist. Take it out. Bring your smartphone to the cyber lock to enter cyberspace. <laughs> what? moment of hacking your consciousness is transformed into a digital app. hit multiple antivirus targets they're blocking the passage you're out of ammo get a new clip reload shoot the remaining targets well this is gonna be very dynamic while running and climbing because with just manual reloading it will be very much a struggle I wonder if there's gonna be a choice though. Great. Eliminate new antiviruses. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Trying something.
avatar has been injured. Get a syringe and take a shot to heal yourself. You'll have to eliminate a few more antiviruses to get to the lock blocker. And there are more dangerous antiviruses. They can raise an alarm. Take a knife and quietly eliminate the nearest an Oh wow, nice game. Okay, uh, I don't know where I am. Can I repeat the tutorial or...? Okay, well... That's kinda a bummer, but I feel like the tutorial overall was very much polished and was explaining a lot of core stuff. I mean, I would like to repeat it because... Hey, let me see. Ah, I'm here. I'll see you how much time we have left. I don't know if I'll make it. I'll try. <laughs> Take a knife and quietly eliminate the nearest antivirus. Move on without attracting attention. Lean down, sneak up from behind, eliminate them with the knife. Ask you. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of looking at me. Okay, well, whatever. Great. Go through the lock blocker to open it. Okay, I mean, that's cool. Oh my god. It's a missing chaser. It looks like he was shot in the head and his corpse was hidden somewhere. Horrible. What should I do? Kill them all. Ah, I can't even press it. The Sky Chase drone will bring you a pistol. Retrieve it with the hook. Oh wait, one more thing before you meet the skulls. This is a chrono drive system built into your implant that sharpens your reflexes. Activate it during the fight. It'll help you focus your attention. Like a slow mo. Yeah, I get it. Hi. Oh. Oh my god, I'm blocked. <laughs> Where's my pistol? Yeah, I mean, that works. Oh my god, the sliding wap up stuff is kind of a struggle. I can hook it though, I forget. I can't take their pistol. <laughs> Works with me. Who called the chaser to Vital Tech Pine Office and why? And what are these bandits doing here? Nicholas, your next urgent mission awaits. 
await you in the slums. Okay, well, we need to finish here and... I mean, it's no surprise, this is a very good game. <laughs> like, I expect that, but just the pure logistics, politics and all that stuff happening, it was just not fun to see how the situation was invading, but at the end of the day, the game is great and it feels much better than the original stride in terms of the movement, slow-mo mechanics, like, to me this is awesome and we'll probably just continue it right away because it's worth it. <laughs> That's it.